Hey everyone, welcome to Nene's Prepping Kitchen. Um, I'm in the kitchen today and I'm fixing to make a pantry meal, a SHTF pantry meal uh, from some of the items that I have prepped. Um, and that is going to be a corned beef casserole. So, and we're going to be using a can of corned beef and some canned potatoes. I got two cans here. Some of my dehydrated cabbage, which I actually have had it soaking for a little bit, uh, so it's a little bit more flimsy. Won't take as long for it to cook. And um, that is about it. Oh, and some onion. Now, if you don't have onion, you can use the uh, onion flakes, which would be fine. Some salt and pepper to it. And then uh, I was hoping I had a can of cream of celery, but, no, but I do have a can of cream of mushroom. So you work with what you have. That's what I have. And uh, then some of the dairy pure milk. So it's pretty easy to put together and you can use casserole dish or I'm going to be putting it together in my cast iron skillet so but first off I'm going to be spraying it just with some granola oil that's my timer now I'm just going to take some of the canned potatoes that I strained already and we're going to put some of those in the bottom. Now I had some onions already chopped up in the refrigerator so I'm going to use them. I'm going to sprinkle some onions in there. And then I have my can of corned beef already opened. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, sprinkle some of that on there as well. So I'm going to break it up. It's fine to use your fingers if they're clean, which mine are. Now I'm going to take some of the cabbage that I've already dehydrated and that is going to go on there as well. need to wash my hands real quick. There we go. Then I have some pepper here. Just going to put me a little pepper on there. And here I have some pink Sea salt, Himalayan salt, and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on there as well. And then we're going to do another layer of the potatoes. And just kind of sprinkle them along. If you wanted it smaller, cut everything in half. I think I had probably about a cup of the uh, cabbage there. And so I got that. I'm going to put some more of the chopped onions on there. Put as much or as little as you want. Go ahead and put some more pepper on there. as much as you want or as little as you want. And probably some more salt. Potatoes to me take a little bit of salt. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to go again with the cabbage. Put the cabbage right in there. Get that all in there like that. Take some more of your corned beef. Just 
crinkle that all along in there as well. So you're just kind of layering it up. Pretty easy to throw together, especially when you have everything right on your pantry. Let me grab a paper towel. I'll be right back. Okay, the next step, I'm going to take the uh, can of soup here, the cream of mushroom, but you can use uh, cream of celery if you have it, would be fine. I'm just going to take me a cup of the milk. You can use any kind of milk that you have, even in the I suppose powdered milk would work. I open this, it's a fresh one. So, about a cup, and I'm going to go ahead and rinse my soup can out here and do it that way. That way I can clean it out. And I'm just going to mix it right in there like that. Just mix it right along till you have it all mixed together. And we're going to pour that over top. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And that is going to cook until it is done. Uh, I'm going to say probably 45 minutes uh, it should be done. So I will check it and get back with you and let you know exactly how long it actually takes in the oven. But the oven is waiting for me, so it's in there. <laughs> I'll be back. When it's all done, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And to all my newcomers, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. And uh, watching them to, to the end, it really helps. So, um, yeah. We'll see what we come up here with our um, corned beef casserole, pantry style. Okay, guys, it was actually in the oven for probably around an hour. Um, everything was already cooked in it, but I think because of the uh, soup and the milk, it took a little longer for it to thicken up, but I've had it sitting out for a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and plate it up here. Yeah, I think it could have cooked maybe a little bit longer even. It's still kind of juicy in the bottom. But I mean, the potatoes are already cooked. The uh, corned beef is already cooked. So right there is your corned beef casserole. Very easy for a uh, pantry meal or a SHTF meal, whichever one comes first. <laughs> but, let me get up here. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for returning and watching. And until next time, Tulu, God bless. See you in the next video. Alright. You know, I thought, how rude. I should have at least tasted it for you. So I turned the camera back on. Now granted, it is steaming hot. Still. <laughs> but I'm going to give myself a bite. Right here. With the cabbage in it, the onions, the potatoes, and the corned beef. It should be pretty, pretty good. It just fell off my fork. <laughs> Here it goes. Mmm.
pretty good. See you guys. Thanks for watching. To live, God bless.